Hey guys, what's up? Miles with MF Outdoors here. Uh, getting ready to go to Dana Point, California tomorrow. Uh, going on a two-day uh, offshore trip. Going to hit up uh, San Clemente Island, I'm sure. And uh, hopefully look for some yellowtail and some big tuna. That's kind of the plan. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown of what I'm bringing uh, to fish. And, uh, you know, maybe it'll help you out. Um, so here's what I got going. I've got five rods, uh, 30 to 80 pound rods. Uh, I got a nine footer, eight footer, a uh, couple of six footers and a six and a half footer. Uh, here are the reels I'm going to be fishing. And I've got, uh, you know, 30 to 80 pounds. Basically, we got a 30 pound set up here. Uh, this is another 30 pound set up. Uh, this is a 50 pound set up here. And then this is my 40 pound. So two 30s, 40, 50, and an 80 pound. Um, with my GoPro stuff I'm bringing, I am bringing a sleeping bag if you ever go on one of these open party boats. Uh, this is actually a private charter, but I'm going with 15 guys. Usually I'll bring a sleeping bag. Just way more comfortable to have a sleeping bag in the bunk room of the boat. Uh, the boat we're going on is the Fury. Never been on there, so uh, hopefully we have a great, great experience. Here's a couple of uh, poppers and one stick bait that I'm bringing. Obviously all my normal terminal tackle, you know, hooks, weights, swivels, uh, here's some iron, flat falls, uh, surface iron, a little bit of everything there. Uh, I do have some soft plastics, you know, don't know if we'll do any, you know, calico fishing or anything like that, but that's kind of the plan there. And uh, we are going to go fish the Dana Point jetty tomorrow. Plan on getting there a little early and go fish the jetty for a few hours. So I am bringing some uh, some smaller stuff. I've got a couple of uh, just a couple of larger bass setups, you know, light inshore stuff that we're going to be using for that tomorrow. Uh, you know, deck boots. Definitely need to have some waterproof deck boots when you go offshore. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the plan. Is uh, you know, going for a couple of days and hopefully the bluefin have been tough. They, they're they a tough fish to catch. And hopefully, you know, we'll have some success with that. If not, we'll be fishing yellowtail. I have seen that the Dorado have shown up. Uh, they've got a few Dorado the last week, just a few of them. So the water's warming up. I'm imagining as that water warms up, the bluefin are gonna disappear. I don't think those bluefin like that that warm water. They'll usually be out of here as soon as that stuff shows up. I know there's been a mix of bluefin and yellowfin, so to me that means water's warming up. And uh, you know, you never know though. Those bluefin, they're they're tricky. They're tricky little fish. They're hard to catch. So you know what? Here's to hoping. And uh, you know, hey be out on the water tomorrow I will be making a complete video of the entire trip so uh, hopefully I'll have that up by next weekend and hopefully we'll have a uh, great time out there all right miles from MF outdoors signing out see you on the water what is that again no, nothing <laughs> <laughs> not fair yeah so
God. <laughs> Good job, dude. Nice, Nick. Awesome. You're just fly line in the bait? Big bait. What is that again? No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Not fair. Yeah, so. What is that again? No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Not fair. Yeah, so.